Thank you for tuning into the Gift Up podcast. Let's get to the 10 team teaser as promised, starting with the Rams versus Miami. It's set at 46. I'm going to bump that up to 53 and go under. Even if Tua has a good game, how many yards and how many scores are they really going to get with Jalen Ramsey on Devontae Parker and nowhere else to go with the football? I like the under there to start the teaser ticket. Next, Chargers versus Denver. The over-under set at 44 and a half. I'm going to bump that up to 51 and a half and go under. Division game in mile high. Everybody's going to be on Herbert and company. But one thing people forget is they're one-dimensional. Herbert has to sling it to be successful. I think Vic Fangio is going to be ready for that. I like the under. Next game, Tennessee versus Cincy. The over-under set at 53 and a half. I'm going to bump that up to 60 and a half, and I'm going to go under in that game. Vrabel is going to be ready for what Cincy has to offer. Mixon's banged up, and nothing against Joe Burrow. I think he's got a lot to offer, but I think Vrabel's going to be ready for that, and they keep that low scoring. It's going to be more about running the football, more about physicality. Next game, New England versus Buffalo. It's set at 41. I'm going to bump that up to 48 and go under. Both teams pride themselves on defense. Belichick is a defensive mastermind. Let's not forget he was the one that took a Super Bowl win away from Buffalo when they played the Giants back in the 90s. And from a Buffalo perspective with Sean McDermott, he prides himself on the defense before anything else. So I got to believe that this is going to be more of a gritty battle than people expect. I like the under. Next game, Indy versus Detroit. It's set at 50. I'm going to bump that down to 43 and go over. Indy's offensive line is legit. I know the Lions got Everson Griffin, but that might take a little time for them to get used to having him. Rivers is going to have time. He throws the football, puts up a few points. And Detroit's offense, in my opinion, is just going to keep getting better. I know everybody was calling me crazy in the comment section, but Detroit's got a way to attack you at every facet of the field. So I think this goes over, and I'm going to knock that down to 43. I like that. Next, we're getting to the spread picks now. Chargers minus three versus Denver. Bump that up to Denver plus 10. For the reasons that I mentioned, going to mile high isn't easy. Drew Locke knows what's up. He'll make enough plays to get this done. The defense for Denver is not backing down. I like it. Denver plus 10. Next, New Orleans minus four and a half versus Chicago. I'm going to bump that up to Chicago plus 10 and a half. And I'm going to take that, you know, whether it's 10, 10 and a half, nine and a half, whatever you guys get it at, it's cool with me because Chicago is ready to go. And New Orleans is dealing with all this drama. Michael Thomas doesn't agree with Sean Payton. You got Emmanuel Sanders on the COVID list. So, hey, I mean, I, I before any of that happened, I like Chicago. So I think we go forward with that pick. Chicago hits Drew Brees in the mouth defensively, and they make it a game. And with 10, 10 and a half, I feel pretty comfortable. Next game, Tennessee minus five and a half versus Cincy. Let's bump it to Tennessee plus one and a half. Hey, you know what? Maybe out of nowhere, Cincy makes it a game in some crazy world. Um, like I said, Vrabel is going to be keyed in on this. So I would be shocked. Joe Burrow is good. So I don't want to completely douse him, but I got to believe Tennessee is going to be in control of this game. And if I can get Tennessee plus one and a half on this ticket, I'm taking it. I think they control the game at the very least. Next game, Tampa minus 10 and a half versus the Giants. Let's knock it down to Tampa minus two and a half. Let's take it. Tampa's not losing this game. Giants might cover that 10-point spread because Vegas wants them to. But Brady's not going to lose to Daniel Jones and one of the worst teams in football. That ain't happening. And let's cap it off, guys. Rams minus 3.5 versus Miami. We're going to bump it up to Rams plus 3.5 and and take it. There's no way the Rams are losing. Tua might have a good game but I cannot see the Rams losing that game. There's no way my there. There's only so many ways Miami can attack you. I think the Rams are going to have that on lock and that's where I'm going to end it guys. 
really big. A 10-team teaser ticket. I like this. I'm excited. It was a long day. I enjoyed the game, uh, the Panthers-Falcons game. I told you guys it was going to be a toss-up to stay away from it, and I was right. Teddy Bridgewater getting tripped. That was some messed up stuff, man. That's like if I was challenging you to run a 40 time with me and I ran my 40. And then when you ran your 40, when I was ready to clock you, I tripped you. I stuck my leg out and tripped you. That's dirty. Win or lose, man. I mean, I had no money riding on that game, but that was dirty to trip Teddy Bridgewater. That's, that's, I don't know what else to say, except it was dirty play. If you want my opinion on that. So tomorrow, there's going to be a lot more things that I'm going to talk about. All of our bets are in, though, and I'm looking forward to this weekend. Our page is growing astronomically, guys. I'm impressed. I got to say, guys, everybody in the comment section, Dom, Foost, Graham25, Renisha, Deanna, uh, all you guys have been balling out, and I love it. Um, I just want this page to keep growing. I'm going to keep putting in the work. So. Keep leaving the comments. I will answer everybody's question in the comment section as soon as I see it. I just want this page to keep growing. There was somebody that said they want this page to grow to 100,000. I hope so. I hope so. Let's make it the great Gatsby like Leonardo DiCaprio with, when he had the whole thing going there. You know, a, a beachfront party. Let's get that going. I mean, but it, it takes a village. It really does. I got to be right about my picks, though. I got to be right about my football and my picks, but I don't see this train slowing down. Like I said, guys, we're already on week eight. We're 16, five and one in the money picks. When the season ends, gift doesn't sleep. I'm going to be on those college players. I'm going to tell you who's going to be ready to go. Just like I was ready last year. When I told you guys, what was up with Jerry Judy? What was up with all the quarterbacks? You guys know what gift, what gifts all about. This train's not slowing down for nothing. This is always going to be my side hustle. Let's get it. Let's get this money.